New drone video shows the devastation in Paradise, California, after wildfires tore through the town, leaving residents no time to escape. The wildfires aren't expected to let up soon as winds are predicted to gust or be near hurricane force in parts of the state. Chief Meteorologist Scott Paget explains what's fueling those Santa Ana winds in today's Weather 101 and some science stuff. So you may have heard the term Santa Ana winds, and right now we are in the Santa Ana wind season. It's between September to May in California. The peak of the Santa Ana wind season is in December, so we're a little bit earlier than the peak in December. And the reason that they're called Santa Ana winds is simply from the Santa Ana Canyon. When we have those winds going through that canyon, it's now just a general term for the winds in California during this time of the year. The fires continue to burn, and this scene right now in California is just all too familiar as firefighters are still battling those extreme fire conditions with those strong winds and the dry vegetation in place and so much devastation. But how do those winds develop? From there, from Southern California, we need to look a little further to the north in parts of Utah and Nevada. An area of high pressure that develops over that Great Basin area has really dry air with it and colder air. So the winds are going to be out of the northeast at 15 to 30 miles per hour, gusting up to 50 miles per hour. They gust even higher and get even stronger as they squeeze their way through the canyon walls there, as you can see, and then they work their way on down. And that descending air is dry air, and that low humidity is even in place. Drying out the vegetation even more, and that is not something that needs to happen or what we need for the Santa Ana wind and the fires going on. Because unfortunately, right now, Southern California remaining in a severe drought, we need that high pressure to break down and a lot of rain to help out these fires that continue to burn.